Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen for a new video where I will use more, I mean at least one use case where you want to use AirSync and this use case is I want a bash script who can mirror um, directories and I want to be um, to be flexible to just add more directories to backup if I want to or just delete some directories I don't want to back up anymore. And this script is based on my real script I use every week to back up all my data uh, from my computer to my external hard disk. So I will show you. So first of all, here we have two directories, source and destination, and for the sake of this video, I want to mirror the directory source to destination. By the way, if you have no idea about AirSync, I did a video already about it, um, which explains um, every, uh, every options which are really useful and uh, what the goal of AirSync as well and how you can use it. Um, it's uh, up there uh, in the video, normally in the corner, you know, you have a link right now. Um, so I want to mirror source to destination. So let's look first what's in there. You can see in source there is a bunch of stuff and in destination there is nothing. So let's create our script which is already, oh no, which is not creative, backup.sh and first let's create a shebang of course for the OS to know what a shell to use if you just run the script without indicating the, the shell. And um, next, I want, I want to be flexible. As I said, I want to be able to add new directories with their uh, mirror. And um, for that, let's use a map, which is the simplest data structure when you think about it, when you can, where you can do this kind of thing, uh, uh, putting two things into relations, to relationships. So, um, Let's use the declare A to create a map. So I said I wanted source to be the source and destination to be the mirror of source. So let's say that for the key of my map, uh, the source is a key and the destination is a value. So um, Backup destination. Okay. So here I have my um, I have my map. Now I need to iterate through my map and just run AirSync for each of uh, the map entries and take uh, the source and mirror it to destination. So let's just do that. Let's create a for in key. In. So if I do that, it will iterate. If I do that, it will iterate through every value of my map, but it won't iterate through the keys, and I need the keys as well. So if you iterate through a map, you if you if you get the key instead of the value, you can always access the value. And to get the keys, to um, iterate through uh, the map and get the keys, you just need to add a bang here. And now a key will be, well, the key of the map. What a surprise. So um, let's rename this variable just for clarity. And let's get the value as well. Um, and we get the value just using the key on the map. Now I need to be sure, first let's do the AirSync. So AirSync AVZ, again I speak about uh, the, these options in my uh, other video about AirSync. We, need, we want to delete as well, which means that uh, everything which is deleted in the source will be deleted in the destination. And since we use delete here, 
we might just screw things up. We never know. I mean, delete is a destructive process, of course. So um, in that case, I would prefer to use dry run at the beginning, which means that nothing will be um, will be done. It will just display output what uh, what would be done if the option dry run wouldn't be here. In 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 short, it's just a test without um, affecting anything. So let's try that. But first, I would like to verify if the source um, directory exists. And let's call it directories because folder is more Windows term. And I spend too much time with Windows, um, which is not the case anymore. I'm just using Linux for years now. But anyway, um, we need to verify if uh, source exists, actually. So, we can test if source, oops, if source is a directory. So, and if it's not a directory, because there is a bang here, let's go, um, let's um, display an error message saying that the source doesn't exist, no backup created. And we want to continue, which means that the uh, loop will stop here and begins at the next iteration. Okay, so it looks good. Let's try it. Um, first, we need to change the permissions for the script to just run it like that. And now we can look at it and it looks good. It create, it copy my file, my folder and everything which is in source into destination. So it looks good. Um, here you can see it's a dry run, so nothing happened if we look at uh, destination and source. Source has still everything, destination is empty. So now we can again um, change our script and delete the dry run to see what happens. And now, now source and destination are mirroring themselves. I mean, mirroring each other, which means that whatever happened in source, if I create source new file, and now I look at both source and destination, you can see that, um, yeah, new file is here in source, but there is no new file in destination. But if I run rsync again, you can see that because I have uh, a verbose output, new file was um, copied, and now you can see that new file is both in destination and in source. Exactly what we want. Even better, if I uh, delete new file in source, so now source doesn't have any new file anymore, and I run again the backup, you can see that Ersync deleting the new file in destination and now new file doesn't exist anymore. So it's really a, a perfect mirror and it's great because um, yeah, it allows you to just back up whatever you want and if you want to, I don't know, back up more directory, you just have to do that and then uh, of course uh, back up source 2 to destination 2 and then it will back up the, the um, it will back up the source to directory into the destination directory. We can even try, and normally there will be, yeah, there will be an error message because source two doesn't exist. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Um, I will use this base because it's a, it's a very very simple script, but as well we don't verify that many things, and um, there are good practices in Bash which are not respected here. So I will take this script. And I will do more videos to just show you how you can improve a script iterati iteratively. Sorry, 
uh, it's a mouthful and um, at least for a non speaker and um, so I will use this script and I will just uh, um, um, step by step improve it and just show you how you can uh, respect more uh, bash best practices because uh, bash is not a nice language really I mean bash doesn't doesn't have a nice language and um, and you need to be careful for many things um, thanks a lot for watching you know the drill if you like my videos if you like my channel if you like everything I'm doing just subscribe like blah 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 and so on and so forth uh, it was a pleasure, thank you very much, and uh, I wish you a great rest of your day.